Hello, you're welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are still on Azure Storage, okay? And in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to create Azure Storage account, as well as some other features in Azure Storage, okay? Whether you're managing backups, storing large files, or sharing data across the cloud, Azure Storage is a powerful and scalable solution for you. And you can actually access your data from anywhere. I'm going to be focusing more on Azure Blob Storage, and this is a service in Azure that allows you to store large amounts of unstructured data, such as your documents, videos, and images in the cloud. I'm going to be showing you how to create Azure Storage account, how to create a blob container, as well as how to create folders and upload your files into the folders. Just like this video, uh, your like will actually help to encourage me comment to say thank you or ask questions subscribe to the channel and as well turn on notification because you don't want to miss out on subsequent videos let's get started so from the azure portal let's look for storage accounts so this is all services i can type storage account here or i can or I can locate it from here. I can type storage account, right? This is it here. I click on that. Also, as you can see, I don't have any storage account here. So click on create a storage account. All right. So my subscription has been selected. Uh, for the resource group, I'm going to be selecting the resource group I have. Um, already if you don't have a resource group you can create a new one from here so for the storage account name please note that this will be uh this will be a unique one so you need to use a unique name to create your storage account so i'm gonna name this special um let's say special storage special storage 101 all right uh, then choose your region. Ensure you're choosing a region that is closer to your users. It depends on who you're storing this for, okay? It depends on the usage, actually. So I'm good with West US, right? Uh, the primary service here um, is Azure Blob Storage. So we are going with this first option. If you're if the plan is for you to use this for Azure file shares and all and you know tables and queue, uh, you can select this other one, but we are focused on Azure Blob. So for the performance, we have standard and premium. Okay, standard is for general purpose storage, while premium is for high performance needs. So let's leave, let's go with standard for the redundancy. I want locally redundant storage to save costs. Okay. Then I click on next. Um, over here we have require secure transfer for REST API. Uh, this is selected for security, so I'll leave it this way. I'll be allowing, um, I'll be enabling the anonymous access on individual container, okay? Because I want to have the option to change it to private, to public at any time I want. So that is why I'm enabling this. Um, yeah, I'll leave this as well. Then minimum TLS version 1.2 is actually highly recommended at this point. So we go with that. Um, permitted scope of uh, permitted scope for copy operation. Please note that you can actually click on this icon to know. If you don't understand any parameter, you can click or I mean just hover your mouse on this icon here, right? And you can read what that means okay so um i don't really want to restrict the copy so i'll leave it from any storage account and i'll just leave every other thing here as default for the blob storage um, um access tier i have hot cool and cold okay so you can read what they mean each of this uh, stuff here means so i'll leave it as hot so I'll click on next uh, for the network connectivity. I'm going to leave enable public access from all network. All right. I actually want this data I want to save to be public. But if you want to, uh, you know, restrict the access, the network access, actually, you can either go with this 
all right or this and uh, the routing preference is microsoft network routing i click next um you can actually enable point in time restore for containers okay it shows that point in time restore requires versioning block storage feed uh, sorry block change feed and blocks of delete to be enabled so i've enabled this so i need to enable these other ones because they work together um soft delete has been enabled so this soft delete actually means that it will retain my deleted blobs oh, okay so let's say i deleted one of my um data right in my blob container it will take like seven days to be deleted permanently okay so um that is what it means and these other ones here as well so let's scroll down and enable the blob change feed and uh yeah versioning for blobs so okay so that is it i'll just click on next um i don't really want to apply tag so let's review and create it is still validating okay so it has actually validated so i'm gonna click on create to get this created great so deployment is complete so i'm gonna click on go to resource so this is our um storage account and this is all the information so we are actually interested in the data storage option here and you can see the types we are focused on our uh, containers we have uh some containers here by default but i'm gonna go ahead let's create our own container so containers are like folders within your storage account that help to organize your blobs okay so we first need to create a container we actually need to create a container we can't start uploading files without creating a container so i'm gonna name this um Okay, for this anonymous access level, uh, you can read what that means by just holding your mouse on this icon, right? I don't want this to be private. I want it to be um, blob, like anonymous read access for blobs only. So I'll go with blobs and you can see this warning here. I'm okay with that. So I'll click on create. And this container will be created just in seconds great and um, it is created so here is our container i'm gonna click on that uh this request is not authorized to perform this operation um okay so I actually need to enable our network to have access instead of selecting that okay um so at this point i'm just gonna quickly go back to my storage so i'll click on networking right uh it is because i restricted access that is why i'm having this uh, access issue so i can actually enable from selected virtual network and ip addresses and this will enable me to add my client um you know my client ip and all that but i want to enable from all networks so you go with your own requirement and having enabled that i will save it and that is completed so let's go back to the container here and see if we can access that so i'll click on my container and as you can see it is open now but it is actually empty so this is the point where we go ahead to upload our files and folders uh you can change access level from here okay so we can decide to make it private whatever uh, i'll cancel this go ahead to upload our files okay and folders so i'm gonna click on this upload and i can actually browse for files in order to start uploading my files but i want to expand this advanced option because i want to upload my files into a folder so here i will say my can I use full um tutorial folder right 
this would be my folder name. It's just like creating a folder and then you're uploading your files into the folder. So now I will go over here and click on browse for files. I will click on my document and then I will select the tech materials. Uh, these are the two files I actually want to upload these two. I'll click on upload, all right? And down here, there's an upload option. So I'll click on upload. So um, this is actually uploading the two files into my tutorial folder. Great. So if I click on this tutorial folder, you'll be seeing my two images, all right? So now I want to show you how you can as well upload an image without adding it into this existing folder, okay? uh going back to my container opening my container um I, I just want to upload an another image without adding it into this tutorial folder so i'll click on upload i can as well you know select this overwrite files if it already exists um so click on browse for files and here i have a file here i'll click on upload and i'll upload that great so this has been uploaded uh into my container okay so let me go to this um click on this image right you can see the properties of this image and you can view if you have the previous version of it if you have a snapshot you can as well create a snapshot for your blog for your data okay you can edit it you can create, generate um sas token and all that so um going back to the overview let's try to access this over the internet as you can see i can access my microsoft logo which is a file i uploaded over the internet and that is a wrap we've successfully created an azure storage account set up uh, our container created folders and uploaded files okay um remember to choose the appropriate access tier based on your data usage pattern in order to um to optimize cost okay if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like it i, I really appreciate that comment ask question if you have any subscribe to this channel and turn on notification so you get to see more of my azure videos aws videos anything cloud devops and sra videos okay i'm gonna see you in the next one